Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we also meet uh, behind the Trade Fair, behind Zenith College on Sundays, 7 to 9, and then 10 to 12 for two services. And then midweek, we meet on Wednesdays from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at the Zoe Chapel of Life Cathedral. Now, this morning, I, I like to capture something that speaks to our particular situation in Ghana. We are approaching election. We are approaching votes, the casting of votes, and all those other things. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with this then. Um, votes of the people. Votes of the people respected by God. Votes of the people respected by God. In Acts chapter 1, verse 26, if you remember, when Judas, you know, Judas, Judas Iscariot, I mean, the man from Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus and... Uh, one way or the other, he committed suicide. And after Judas had committed suicide and he was long gone, now the apostles came together and said, Jesus chose 12 of us. He chose 12 of us. And right now one is dead. We understand why Jesus uh, chose 12. One, 12 is the number for divine order and divine government. 12 apostles, 12 tribes of Israel. So that's one of the things that it says. So he said, listen, we need to fulfill scripture. We need 12 um, apostles. We are only just 11. So we need one more apostle to replace uh, Judas. And here's the thing. No man is indispensable. No man is indispensable. Nobody owns a seat. It is, it is not yours by birthright. Nobody owns it. Um, uh, and of his office, let another take. That's always the principle. Sometimes you might be there, and I mean, um, uh, you, you may feel like ownership. I own the, the, the throne, the state throne. Nobody owns it. It is for the people of Ghana. It is we who have power. It is the power of our thumb that puts you there. So you are a product of our thumb. And everybody needs to understand that. It might sound offensive, but that's not offensive at all. It is a stark truth. So the throne is not in. Judas, uh, uh, normally if, if Judas wasn't in they should have gone for his son or something. It is, not, it is not an inheritance. It is a privilege given to you by God and by the people. So when Judah, in the absence of Judas, somebody else had to take the throne. That is pure and simple. Nobody has a right to the throne. The right to the throne is owned by the people of Ghana. So whether incumbent or uh, opposition, know this for sure, it is not yours, it is for us. And our thumb is going to determine whether it is going to be you or somebody else. That's that's bottom line. And the Bible says, now this is supposed to be, uh, Jesus chose them by prayer, it's supposed to be a spiritual exercise and all those things. But guess what the disciples did? They said, let us cast lot. So let us vote. So voting didn't start in Ghana. Voting started long before the American Constitution or British Parliament. The power to choose is in the hands of the people. They said, let us vote. And I, I was very, very surprised. They voted by casting of lots. And here is the interesting thing. The Bible said, when they chose, they chose Matthias. They chose Matthias. And I was like, I was intrigued. Matthias, and he was chosen to now to be added to the 12. So Matthias was chosen. And you know one thing? God didn't oppose it. Nobody said, I believe with all my heart that Matthias was the wrong person. Why? Because the position of Matthias, after he was chosen, you don't hear of him anymore. You never heard of him anymore. And there was out there languishing, you know, running after people to persecute, is a man called Saul, who later became Paul. He, for me, was the 12th apostle. But guess what? The will of the people in choosing Matthias was honored. 
but God worked it out for his person to come through. So we as a nation in Ghana, we as people in Ghana, and we um, in, in positions of leadership, you have been entrusted that position by the people. We need to respect the will of the people. If the people should choose you, fine. If the people should not choose you, no qualms about it, no fight whatsoever. Because the will of the people must be fully expressed. Nothing must be done to intimidate people from expressing their will. Nothing must be done to prevent people from expressing their will. Nothing must be done. May God watch over this election process. May God watch over everybody and may every leader know it is not yours by right. It belongs to the people of God. So, we're going for elections. And each and every one of us must make a choice. Your thumb will speak powerfully. Let your thumb speak. God bless you. See you later.